Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton here. Now, many of you have heard of a Mediterranean diet, and it's such a healthy diet because, I mean, look at the countries that border the Mediterranean Sea. I mean, they eat so healthy, and that's all this is. So I decided, why not let's do a dish today that I'm gonna do a lemony, zesty Mediterranean chicken, okay? So for this, what I have, I have ground black pepper, I have a little sea salt, I have oregano, I also zested a lemon and have lemon juice. Now, I'm gonna just put this into the bowl. Now, the recipe talks about you can use chicken breast. You know, I love chicken thighs, so I'm doing it with chicken thighs. The other thing, this is olive oil. I find in the Mediterranean diet, it's all about healthy fats, okay? Olive oil is one of those good oils because it has healthy fats to it. You know, this diet also contains a lot of seafood in it, a lot of poultry, and very little beef, you know? It's more of a fish, it's more of a poultry a few times a week, but every day and every meal, it's gonna be vegetables, and it's also going to be a lot of fresh fruits and nuts as well. So now that I've got this stirred together, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and brush this on the chicken, okay? Now, we're gonna brush this seasoning on, and then we're gonna put this on some other vegetables that's also gonna go in this dish. That's gonna season those vegetables as well. All right, look how good that looks, all right? There we go, that's great, all right? Now, I like to, we could throw the, mix the lemon slices in, but I'm gonna put the lemon slices just right on top of our chicken, like this. And what I have here, I have red onion. I've taken a red bell, red bell pepper, cut it in strips. Now I'm using a little red potato. I'm using some of the uh, cream of potatoes, like the Yukon Gold Baby potatoes. And I'm also using purple potatoes. So use those that you like. Now, often people will put the lemon slices in here and mix it all together. But I am going to put the lemon slices on my chicken and put this right here. Now, if you're one of these people that go, hey, chef, what about cross-contamination? Because I use this to brush onto the chicken. That's a good point. But what's okay about doing it this way, because this is all gonna bake together. So because this tossed, touched raw chicken, it's okay because it's all gonna go in the oven and get together and this basically seasoning and olive oil and all, it's gonna cook. So you don't have to worry about any cross-contamination there with that. But doesn't this look pretty? And isn't it great to eat fresh vegetables every day? So now all we have to do is just dump this right in the pan. Just kind of spread them out. I have the oven preheating 400 degrees. This needs to go into the oven hour, hour and a half. And basically it totally depends on what type of chicken you use. Chicken thighs are a little thinner than the breast. The breast is gonna be very thick. So you want an interval temperature of at least 160 degrees on that chicken to be done. So let's get this in the oven. We'll periodically check those thighs to make sure we reach that 160 degree temperature. But in the meantime, when we come back, I'm gonna start working on a chocolate mousse made with Greek yogurt. Oh, it's gonna be a fantastic dessert. We'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, welcome back. Now, I am working on a chocolate mousse. Yes, I mean, the Mediterranean diet deals with a lot of healthy things. And when I was looking up some of the different recipes that folks eat for dessert, I noticed a lot of their desserts, like muffins and all, used olive oil as the fatum because it is a healthy fat. This particular recipe, what I have going on here, I have two thirds of a cup of milk. I have seven ounces of chocolate. Now, gang, the, the basic, the easiest way to remember that is that one cup of chocolate chips is roughly about six ounces. So if you do a cup of chocolate chips plus a little more, that'll give you about seven ounces. Now, I've had the fire on medium. And I just, I don't want the milk boiling, but I just want this to get this chocolate dissolved. 
And you can see how we still have some chunks in here where it's not totally dissolved. We can always turn the heat up a little bit because it's getting very, very close. And I know puddings are thought of as smooth, but you know what? With ice cream, we have chunks. We have chocolate chip chunks in ice cream. So if you want in your pudding, instead of it being smooth, you could leave some of these chunks in where they don't totally melt all the way. Now, to help sweeten this up, what I'm going to do is I have vanilla and I have some honey. The honey is going to add the sweetness. You know, the vanilla is going to add more depth of flavor. And, you know, if you want it sweeter, yeah, just add a little more honey. But I noticed in a lot of desserts that honey is used, more natural ingredients are used to sweeten them as opposed to just using sugar, okay? So there, we, that way we get the sweetness from the chocolate. We're also gonna get the sweetness from the honey that we put in, that flavor from the vanilla. And what we're going to be putting this in is two cups of Greek yogurt. Now, regular yogurt is very smooth, kind of sweet and creamy. Greek yogurt, if you've never had Greek yogurt, it has a little bit of a, I guess the best way I would describe it is a little bit of a twang to it, okay? So this is good. You know, like I said, I like a little bit of chocolate chunk in it. Why not? It gives it like a little surprise. So we're just gonna take this off the fire. I'm just gonna whisk, a little, whisk this a little more. And what I have here, our Greek yogurt, okay? So now, let's just pour this onto our yogurt. See that little bit of chocolate that didn't melt? Oh yeah. I don't know, I'm just gonna love those little chunks. And now I just wanna fold this in. And once I start folding it, I find that if you just kinda agitate it, just hold your bowl and kinda stir it, you see how it starts to come together. Now we also wanna make sure, can you see down there on the side of the bowl, see that white? Make sure you take your spatula and make sure you get around the sides and the bottom of the bowl, all right? Now, this is gonna to have to chill. We need to put this in a refrigerator for at least two hours to chill. Um, I also like to take a piece of clear wrap, put over the bowl and let it touch the top of the pudding. That way it won't create a film. But this needs to chill for a couple hours. So in a little bit, we're going to put our chicken dish together. We're going to put this chocolate pudding together. And we're going to have a wonderful Mediterranean dinner. We'll see you in a bit. Guys, I tell you what, this smells so good. Oh, look at our chicken. Now, after about 30 minutes in the oven, what I did, I take, tilt it, take a spoon, get some of those juices, and just baste it. So after about 30 minutes, I started doing that. If the top starts to look a little dry, all we have to do is give it a nice little baste. So look, our chicken is so wonderful, so ready. Doesn't this look good? And I tell you what, this lemon juice in here just screams. But look at how our chicken with, the, with our lemon on top, look how that chicken is nice and juicy. So we have our chicken here. This is ready to go. Now, earlier, I made a double batch of the chocolate mousse because, you know, yeah, I have a sweet tooth. And you see how I put the clear wrap on so it would prevent it from skinning. So let's just take this right off. And look how firm this has gotten in, in the refrigerator. So look, let's put some in a bowl. You know what? And you can make this as pretty as you want. Look, let's take a little whipped cream. I didn't have time to make any fresh, so hey, that's all right. We can put a little one like this. How about a little cherry on top? And there we go. So a Mediterranean... Mediterranean diet, Mediterranean diet. Oh, I, I, I'm distracted by this chocolate mousse because it looks so good. But you know, think about it. The Mediterranean diet, it deals with a lot of fresh vegetables, a lot of fresh fruits, it's nuts, it's healthy oils like the olive oil. Every meal that ha they have that. 
Now, a few times a week, they'll have fish or poultry, and the diet includes very little meat. So here's a wonderful, healthy dish that I tell you what, this zesty lemon chicken, oh, it smells so good. And look at our chocolate mousse. Who would have thought that you could take chocolate, mix it with Greek yogurt, and come up with such a wonderful dessert? I tell you, gang, this is really good, and it's all healthy. So if you haven't tried it, you know, hey, Louisiana, we make everything taste good. So put a little Louisiana twist to this. Use some of the Louisiana ingredients in here, and you too can have a wonderful, healthy meal that great, it smells so good, and I can't wait to dive into this chocolate pudding. So I hope you all have a great day. I hope you're being safe. For WWL, I'm Chef Kevin Belton. Have a fantastic day.